Creating a template. After changing the settings of a drawing file, you can create a template to quickly create new drawings with the same conventions and default settings. In this time, in this file, we are going to simply create a rectangle. You can go ahead and select the rectangle tool from the draw panel and AutoCAD asks us to specify a point. Don't worry too much about how to actually draw anything just yet. We're just doing this just for display purposes. I'm going to go ahead and create a rectangle. And now let's say every drawing file from now on, I need to have this rectangle displayed in my document. In order to do this, we'll go ahead and go to File, Save As, and we're going to save it as a drawing template. This brings us to the template folder. This one we're going to call it Rectangle, or just Rec for short. And we just make sure that it has a .dwt file extension, and go ahead and select Save. Don't worry about these file options just yet. We'll go into them later as we talk about drawing units a little bit more. Now, the next time we open up a new file, go to the application menu, new, and we'll select a drawing, and it'll bring us to our templates. Now we see here, we have our rectangle template that we drew before with a .dwt extension. Let's go ahead and open that up. And there's our rectangle again. This saves us a lot of time if we have to always constantly change settings to our files or recreate a design again and again. If you also notice, our new drawing that we created is named Drawing 2 by default. The first one that we created was named Rectangle. Here's Drawing 2. I'll go ahead and pan this to the side. You can do that by holding down the middle mouse button. So you can see these are two separate files that we created. And this will save you lots of time as you start working with more and more documents.